Hey guys, welcome to Art Club. I'm so excited to have you here. Um, so we're going to be making these really cool snowflakes. Today is day one out of two for snowflake making. Um, so today is when we're going to be using these bleeding tissue papers on our, um, on our snowflake pattern here. Um, so I have a little bit of sad news. The bleeding tissue, I, I don't know if we got a bad batch or what's going on, but it's not really working quite the way um, it normally does, the way it's supposed to. Um, so normally what you would do is you just get your paintbrush wet and kind of wet down the paper and you would put your tissue on there and usually kind of get it wet again over the top and you don't want to get it too wet. Um, the, the more wet you get it, the more uh, muted, the colors end up being underneath it but usually when it dries um, it will leave it'll kind of look like watercolor stained glass it looks really cool well for some reason I don't know what's going on with these it's not it's not happening like that um, I let mine dry and took them off the normal way um, and you'll notice that the colors are just very muted they're not looking super amazing and vibrant like they normally do um, and so because of that, I did some problem solving, figure out, okay, these are, it's not working this way. What can we do instead? So you should have also gotten along with you, um, a glue stick, um, or actually I'm going to just be using Elmer's, like the, this glue is what I'm going to be using. So either will work. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of make my own Mod Podge here, um, by putting a bit of glue on my paper where I'm going to be putting that and spreading it out with some water and then as you can kind of see over here I'm going to be taking my cool tissue paper I, can't, I don't know if I can should even be calling it bleeding tissue paper because it's not bleeding so I'm just gonna put it on like that notice I can go right over the lines it doesn't matter we are going to be cutting these out uh, during our next club period um, so if it goes over the lines, it's not a big deal because we're going to be cutting it out on the line. So I'm just kind of putting some more of that glue water combination. If you've got Mod Podge, that would work too. Um, but our goal is before our next club, we want to have our entire snowflake covered with all these beautiful colors. And that includes these six dots here too. My glue is almost gone, you guys. Let's see if we can get it out there. There we go. Um, spread that out a little bit more. There we go. So I want it completely covered with all the beautiful colors, including those six dots over there. And then for next club period, whoops, that's two pieces. Try to make sure you only get one at a time here. Um, for the next club, we are going to need um, scissors, our black paper, our glue, um, glue or glue stick, either way will work because we're going to be cutting each of these out and gluing them onto that black paper and it's going to look so cool. So make sure you get this completely covered and fin filled in. You'll notice that you do have an extra one of these so if you want to make two or try something else, you could also try, you know, oil pastels, crayons. Um, paint, whatever you want to do. So there's lots of different options. I hope you guys have fun. Make some beautiful snowflakes. Can't wait to see them.